when I was when I was cooking in the past, I was always cutting you know things uh, to make them extremely perfect looking. Um, the cubes all have to be the same, you know, the, the certain way you put it have to be the same. And then you realize uh, cake doesn't have to be round, cake doesn't have to be square. I remember I did a cake for my client once, it's a coral cake, and she was completely, um, you know, kind of taken aback because she's never seen a coral cake. But then the whole idea is to share your philosophy with people that a cake doesn't really have to be round. I went to Paris because it was really the hub for pastry. Now I wanted to keep myself grounded in the classical methods first. And then from there I went to the States where it's a bit more modernized. I was in Noma's lab for a while as well. And, and that was just to learn, just to learn from these uh, chefs. I started 2AM Desert Bar about six years ago when I was 24. And um, the whole idea was to provide progressive desserts paired with wines. Uh, we've really evolved from putting art on a plate and now for us, art is made out of food. Normally art pieces, you have to stand quite far away and appreciate it from, from afar. And the idea was for you to, to pick on the art piece, break it up and uh, taste it. And after six hours, it still looks like an art piece. And I could really see the expression on the, my guest face, you know, and that brought a lot of satisfaction uh, in my craft and what I do. Food art is really about combining techniques and also equipment and uh, textures, but always using different mediums. I think for me as an artist, uh, my core is really to use food ingredients, but always changing the medium. The idea was to tell people, you know, what is creativity? Is creativity uh, making a new flavor of a creme brulee? Or is creativity taking things that you don't know to make something new? So a year before I launched my book, I went, I went sightless for three days, uh, 72 hours. So I shut off my sense of sight, and that was really to push my other senses. But then what I got out of it was really pushing my imagination. I think for me is really to focus on not creating with references. Most of our art pieces are both planned and spontaneous. Planned because uh, it's structures, but most of the ideas and concept comes from just uh, opening your eyes. You know, growing up, it was um, in, in the six years at 2AM BZ Bar and the eight years I've been cooking, um, I really learned to evolve as a person as well, growing with my passion. People stop calling me a pastry chef anymore. More of an artist, uh, sometimes a visionary, I would say. You never really see yourself as that because you're so in it. One of the people that I really look up to um, is Coco Chanel. She's solely dedicated that good 60 years of her life into her craft. And I was like, that, that's really awesome because she made such a change in, in today's uh, fashion industry. And I felt like, okay, if I could be like her, you know, and, and dedicate my life into, into what you're good at or your craft, then why not? We're always known to push the boundary. But uh, where, where is the boundary? I always ask, where, where is that line? And uh, for us, you know, it, it, it's endless. 